I'm taking a quick break right now from um, shooting here in Mexico City. And as I'm surrounded by these noises and these smells and sounds, I'm just thinking about my conversation with Miwa Alarawaja, um, who I got to talk to several months back about the topic of silence. Now that I'm you know, experiencing a lot of noise, a lot of, a lot of busyness, I'm just thinking about how important it is for me to have those times of quietness and stillness. And Isaiah 30 comes to mind, Isaiah 30 verse 15, where it says, in returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. So I'm thinking about this. I'm from Mexico originally, and on this trip, the Lord started speaking to me about, I'm returning, actually. I'm physically returning to the country of my birth, but it's also the country where I gave my life to the Lord for the first time. We know that salvation comes from Jesus alone, and we know that we're supposed to pray the prayer. We know that, um, you know, it's as long as you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. But then this other scripture is saying, in returning and rest, you shall be saved. So that just speaks to me about the relationship with Christ. I'm also reminded about what Muiwa said about, um, you know, we have sound on the outside, but we also have sound on the inside. And sometimes it's not enough to just quiet the outside. We also have to quiet the inside because there's internal music, he said. You know, he calls it the noise of my imperfections. And that is so true. So many times we're listening to these lies, these fears, this anxiety, and those are noises that are contradicting the noise, the voice of God that is trying to speak to us. I really like that. There's a story in First Kings where Elijah goes up um, to, to the mountain and he is experiencing different, you know, um, major events like fire and an earthquake and different things. And it keeps saying, but the Lord was not in the fire. The Lord was not in the earthquake. The Lord was not in the wind. And then he was in a still small voice. In the midst of this cacophony of sounds, that's the word you I use, we need to really quiet ourselves or how else are you gonna listen to the Holy Spirit? How else can you hear it? the one who's abiding in you? If you've given your life to the Lord, he's abiding in you, but how are you gonna hear him if you're just talking? So let's just take a second right now and just be still. I'm serious, can you and as you're in the stillness, just say, Holy Spirit, I acknowledge you. Holy Spirit, speak. I'm listening. Holy Spirit, I'm a willing vessel. Pour yourself out. You are my strength. And that's peace. I just feel it right now over myself, and I hope you're feeling it too. I just feel his peace. You know, him telling me that he loves me, that he's proud of me, and I don't need to hear all the other things that the world is telling me. So in returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. Be willing and willing.